You may have recently talked to a marketing expert about placing the Facebook pixel on your WordPress website. Doing so is easy and is one of the best ways to improve your ad targeting overall, retarget to visitors of your website, and create smart conversion campaigns that can actually show your ad to people in your audience who are most likely to convert. I'll walk you through the entire process of adding Facebook's pixel to your WordPress site, though be advised that you must have a WordPress business account. If you don't, you'll need to upgrade. Let's first go to your ads manager and make sure you're in the right account. This is my Banglecat WordPress ads manager account, which is where I want to be. Click on the hamburger. It looks a little like a hamburger, doesn't it? And then click on all tools. Select pixels under the measure and support column. If you haven't set up your pixel, scroll down slightly and click on create a pixel. You'll next have the opportunity to name your pixel, which you can choose to do or not. You can rename it later if you like as well. Next, click Create. Once the next screen loads, select View Setup Instructions, and then click on the top box titled Use an Integration or Tag Manager then select WordPress in the upper left. You'll need to download the Facebook Pixel plugin, and I recommend you save it to your desktop. The plugin is a zip file, and if you're on a Mac, it may unzip the file. Now that's fine, we just want to be sure we save the actual zip file to our desktop. We'll use it in a moment. Let's now go to WordPress.com and log in. And note again that you'll need a WordPress business account to use and upload the Facebook plugin. After you log in, you may need to click on My Site in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Once here, scroll down and select Plugins. Move your cursor to the upper right hand corner of the screen and click Upload Plugin. You'll now want to locate the Facebook Pixel zip file we downloaded a moment ago and simply drag and drop it into the gray box in the middle of your screen. It has a dotted border around it. Now WordPress will begin the process of placing a Facebook Pixel on every page of your website which is great because then you'll be able to create audiences for advertising based on people who visited your entire website or even certain pages of your website. More on that later. Once you see the success screen, you'll next want to go to your actual WordPress site, in this case, banglecatbytes.com. If you're using Chrome and have the Facebook Pixel Helper installed, you can click here to see if the Pixel installed correctly. Be sure to refresh your page if you don't think the Facebook Pixel is active. There's another way to see if your Pixel is active. Let's return to Ads Manager and navigate back to our Pixel screen. As you can see here, the number 8 tells me I'm already seeing activity on my web page. And if I scroll down and select URLs from the drop down menu, I can actually see how many times individual users have gone to specific pages of my site. Most importantly, I can build custom audiences of people who visit my site and create custom conversion campaigns using Pixel data that will allow me to distribute my ad more precisely to people in my audience who are most likely to take specific actions, like purchasing products or filling out lead forms. You can always return to view your Pixel statistics by returning to the main menu and clicking Pixels. To learn more, visit facebook.com forward slash business or facebook.com forward slash blueprint for information and tutorials on the Facebook Pixel, custom audience, and much, much more.